only should we even look at other revenue measures that will, in my opinion, make bring greater stability to the fiscal. We should also look at expenditures. We should look at expenditures, and I have already said that in looking at the expenditures, charity should begin at home. Where? We, the political class, okay. we, must, we must put our... You know, there have been a lot of discussions about Article 71 office holders, our remuneration and all that. I hope that as we move, that we can have the political consensus that in reality, it doesn't come to much because we are not that many. But you know, sometimes it is good to do that in order to signal to the population that we, the leadership, we ourselves have started. And then we can begin to look at all those people, for instance, in the gov on government payroll who go to work and do little. Okay, so and specifically I, for the political class, what are you suggesting that they do? I think Article 71 office holders remuneration, for instance, the current arrangement when the executive determines that of the, uh, the, the legislature. The, and, and you guys have called it scratch by the back, let me. There's nothing wrong with creating a body under the Fair Wages and Salaries Act. Countries have that, that independent that, emolument. That, that, exactly, yeah. whatever you want to call it. And let them determine, with the same spirit that they determine public sector wages, let them determine that of the leadership. I also think that we must cap the number of members of parliament, for instance. The number of parliament that the, uh, in the past, the NDC administration comes, they, let, they, they create the straight, they did out, Electoral Commission operates on some principle that one co constituency cannot contain two districts, and we keep creating the constituencies and creating the number of MPs and the associated costs. Somehow, I would be happy that as we discuss these matters and tell the public that, look, the taxes are not, after all, you cannot tax yourself out of poverty, and that we are also going to have to make some hard choices about expenditure. Then we can have that discussion. And when we have finished, I think this culture that has now started in the public, that every community now wants asphalt. And the way we have been playing the game, it makes a lot of sense for the politician to continue providing the asphalt. And a lot of the road projects you would see are being constructed with loans. The point uh, I'm making, and I conclude on this, is that I do not disagree on many points with Honorable Atos' uh, suggestions that, that you cannot go on tax, tax, tax. You must cut expenditure. Most of those points are legitimate. My problem with him is that, you see, when you say it in the spirit of government being insensitive, when you have had the opportunity, you have done the same, we know the fundamental subcultures in our society that are driving